Hey guys, you're watching the one and only, my name is AJ, and this is episode 11 of School of Redstone, or lesson 11, and today is the day-night switch, or the day-night sensor, and uh, basically this is it, it's not very big, and we're going to show you how to build it, and this is fairly quick as well, this is a fairly quick version of it, it's fairly compact, I can't remember the exact name of who the person who designed it, but if I do remember or you do know the original creator, I will put it into the description below. But basically how a day-night sensor works is it uses a bud switch that we done in the last episode in lesson 10, we done bud switch. So it uses a bud switch basically to detect if the grass here on this piston is alive or not. Because uh, when... Oh, a little fact for you on Minecraft, once the sun goes down, grass underwater dies and turns to dirt, so it changes the block ID. So uh, that registers in the block detection that it's no longer a grass block, so it pushes it forward. And then as soon as it's daytime, the grass grows back because it's not underwater anymore. So it's brought back again, and then as soon as it turns night, it's back under the water, the grass dies, goes back forward. And then the output is here to... Uh, a piece of glowstone on a piston at the moment because we don't have redstone lamps but as soon as we have redstone lamps the best idea the best looking idea is to hook them up to uh, redstone lamps around your city or your village so then the redstone lamps come on at night so uh, it's about midday so here I've got a platform that we're going to start on you need the platform to be anything but grass otherwise it can mess it up it's just easier so this is five by six and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do it in levels. I'm going to try and explain it to you the best way I can. But you're going to make a C shape. So three, three, then three with the gap there. You're going to paste the lever down and turn the lever on. And then run your redstone across just like this. And put a redstone torch there. What you're going to do is you're going to put a piece of stone or I'm using stone but anything but grass here up to a sticky piston facing towards the redstone torch if you like with a grass block on it okay what we're gonna do then is place a piece of grass on top of this redstone torch and bring the C round again and put a piece of stone on the end I always put it on the right it seems to be just the way that I do it and then we're going to put a redstone torch on here, which will turn this torch off. Put another stone block above it. And another final torch here. Hook the redstone up down just this side. And get your glass pieces. Like this, you'll just need to fix it. If it does push the piston forward when it's daytime, if you just put a block in the middle, it'll update it. And then put your water in. And that is it for the actual um, day-night sensor. And then your output is off this torch here. So this is your output. I'm just going to hook mine up the same way to that. And across your redstone. So now what we need to do is we need to wait until night time. And the pistons will raise up, pushing these glowstone up in the air. So, um, yeah, we're going to wait until night. It can take about, oh, well, it can either be instantly that these are activated, or it can be up to sometimes two minutes, depending on how long it takes for the grass to die. So, we shall see. But we're going to cut it once it gets a bit closer to night, and we shall see them rise up. Okay guys, and we're back, and the sun is just starting to set, so we should be able to see it happen. Usually it happens once the sun has gone behind. The first time I done the original one there, as soon as the sun disappeared, they popped up. So we're going to go behind here so we can see. Now they might go up at different times, depending on how quickly the grass block below them dies if that one dies before this one that one will obviously go up first and vice versa so what you can do is if you wanted it to be really efficient and really quick 
you could hook up, let's say, six of these together up to an OR gate, if you like. Um, so no matter which one dies first, it always it pops the glowstone up. Here we go, the sun's gone behind. And... We've still got a little bit of light showing. Oh, there we go. That's popped up. The one that we just made died quicker. And any minute. So it can be up to instantly, which that pretty much was this time. Up to about two minutes, unfortunately, depending on how quick it dies. Which is why the most efficient way would be um, to hook up about six of these, let's say. And uh, hook all the redstone inputs up together to a glowstone. So as soon as one of them dies, the piston shoots up because um, all the inputs are linked, all the outputs are linked. So yeah, if you know what I mean. If like if we were doing it with two, for example, we could always just take these down. There you go, like that. So um, now both of them are actually censored. But if you hooked it up like that, um, you've got twice the chance of the block dying instantly. So when the sun rises uh, in the morning, it'll go suck. It'll suck it back down. And because they're both hooked up, as soon as one of them um, is activated, it goes up. But unfortunately for the day coming up so far, how at least I've set this up very quickly, we're going to have to wait until both grass has grown back. Otherwise, one of the torches is still going to be on keeping it up. But we're just going to wait until daytime very, very quickly. And then you'll see it drop back down again. Okay, guys. So now we're coming to daytime. The sun's starting to rise, the moon is starting to set. We're actually going to face this way this time. So we should be able to see it in action fairly soon. We'll see the block, the grass block, get drawn back, back underneath the water, because at the moment it's just underneath the grass. Let's see which one activates first. Oh, the one on the left this time activated first. And now the one on the right. And the uh, glowstone has gone back down. So, there we go, guys. It is very quick. It's um, one of the quickest designs I've ever seen. And it's one of the most compact designs I've ever seen as well. The last one that I used to use was huge um, underneath the ground. So, um, very nice design. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any trouble with redstone that you need my help with, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be able to help you. And if it's a big enough subject, I will dedicate a lesson to it. And uh, we shall see you in the next lesson, guys. Bye!